Hi, my name is Linda Wasson. I'm going to be teaching you about fetal circulation. This video is for novice and or veteran nurses that have some prior knowledge about circulation through the heart so that we have a baseline of what we already know and then we're going to move on to fetal circulation. So does anybody remember what these are right here? Which In valves? Inferior and superior vena cava. Very good. Let's see superior vena cava and the inferior. So the blue is deoxygenated blood that comes in and it comes into the, who knows this one? Right atrium. The right atrium, that's right. So it goes into the right atrium and then it, it goes through this valve right here. Who remembers this valve? Tricuspid. 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 Valve. tricuspid. Yes, so the tricuspid valve and then it goes into the right Ventricle. 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 Very good. So there's our right ventricle. So you have deoxygenated blood. Then it goes through another valve. Who remembers that valve? Pulmonary. Pulmonary. Because from here it goes into the pulmonary lungs. Oh. Right. The pulmonary, pulmonary artery arteries. that goes into the lungs. So it can be oxygenated. So once it gets into the lungs, it becomes oxygenated, comes in through the pulmonary vein. And from there, it goes into the right. left atrium. The left atrium. There's, oops. Passes the, which valve is this one? Mitral, mitral valve. That's right. Mitral valve. Good job. And so from the mitral valve, it goes into the left ventricle. Very good. Left ventricle. And, oh, sorry. I covered the wrong one. I just did. Okay. So then, <laughs> left ventricle through the aortic valve. And through this big old one here, who remembers that one? The aortic. The with oxygen and nutrients. The blood moves through the umbilical vein, bypasses the liver through the ductus venosus. Circulation. Blood flows from the inferior and superior vein, the cava. Circulation. Through the right atrium and through foramen ovale. From foramen ovale to the left since lungs are not fully functional, most of the blood bypasses right ventricle. Yahoo! Learn about circulation. Circulation. Yahoo! Eat 
circulation. Circulation time, come on. Let's circulate. Let's celebrate, it's all right. With baby's first breath, there is a rise in oxygen. Let's celebrate, it's all right. Muscle constriction occurs and circulation change. Then the new baby feeds right up. Let's celebrate, it's all right. Learned about fetal circulation. Now you know how fetal circulation works. So this is going to come from the placenta, right? To oxygen-rich blood is going to come from the placenta, right? Through the umbilical vein. It's going to go past the ductus venosus, mm -hmm. up through the inferior vena cava, into the right atrium. Very good. Then go past the foramen ovale, into the left ventricle. So remember, when it's coming from the inferior vena cava, and the superior, it mixes in the right atrium. So you would have purple over here. Good. You just squish it down in there. That's fine. And then you've got some blue over here. So this is deoxygenated blood, or oxygen poor blood. So this is coming from this way, right? Very good. All right. So. What are the three, let's talk about the three differences, or the three valves in the babies, okay? So the one that bypasses the liver and it is the ductus venosus. Very good. And then it goes into the inferior vena cava, into the right atrium. Very good, to the right atrium. Oh, sorry, my right atrium here where it mixes with blood from the superior vena cava. Okay. okay? And then it goes through this little valve. Foramen ovale. Very good. And then it goes into the, the right. The right. right. I mean the left. 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 Atrium. 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 A small amount of it goes to the lungs, but because the lungs are the lung vessels are constricted, it flows through the path of least resistance and will go through the ductus arteriosus.